Hey everybody, John Jacoby here, San Antonio's top realtor. I've been helping families buy and sell homes all throughout San Antonio for the last almost eight years, and I've helped hundreds of families get their homes sold. So I made this video, and what we're gonna be sharing in this video today when you, when you tune in is the eight steps that is required to make your for sale by owner process a success. So I've helped tons of families achieve their goal of selling their home, and I've learned a thing or two throughout that process. So uh, the eight steps, Steps that we want to consider when selling your home are going to be uh, we want to start by creating an action plan so the first thing that we want to do is create an action plan uh, then we want to research the market find out what your competitors are doing what the homes for sale around you are selling for and also what we can get you for your house uh, you want to know your numbers you want to run the net sheets and make sure that you are not in an upside down position when you're selling your home uh, you're going to prepare your home for the market so I'm going to be giving a few tips on getting your house ready for the market Market. then we want to market your listing so we're going to share a few tips on how and where you can share your listing to give it the most exposure and then also we're going to be sharing um, about some different strategies come to an agreement um, and also we're going to be sharing with you uh, what the process is like from contract to close and also closing on the sale what can you expect when you close on the sale um, so first thing you want to do is create an action plan so an action plan that that uh, we would recommend doing is is taking a look at what your strategy is going to be. Are you going to be uh, marketing this house? Uh, where are you going to be marketing it? Uh, how soon do you need to, to have it sold by? And uh, then once we have a full plan together, then we're going to start create we're going to start doing the research. So research is going to be the first phase that that's going to help throughout um, the process and make sure that that you are able to uh, know exactly what houses are for sale around you, how much they're selling for, and what everything else has been sold for. Uh, of course, when a buyer comes in to purchase your home, uh, more than likely, probably nine times out of ten, they're going to be using financing. So we want to make sure that you are priced correctly. That way, the house will appraise without having any issues. Uh, so we want to take a look, and you can either contact a local real estate agent or you can, uh, such as myself, if you're in the San Antonio market, or you can, um, of course, look on Zillow, uh, look on Realtor.com and see within the, the of say about a five mile radius, uh, what, what houses that are similar in age, similar in size, what are they selling for? And what is your competition like? So there's going to be other homes for sale around you and you want to make sure that you are, uh, See, I, I like to tell my clients that selling a home is a combination of a price war and a beauty contest. You want to not only be priced uh, appropriately to, to be competitive with everything that's around you, but you also want to be able to present it well. Uh, present it well so that a buyer doesn't skip or skim right over your listing and, and consider it because of the presentation of how you put the that house out there to for buyers to see. Um, so once once you've done all your research, you know uh, roughly what you want to ask for your house. Now it's time to run the numbers. We want to do a net sheet. Um, so from the time that from the beginning of the year to till the t day of closing, you're going to be responsible for the property taxes on that property. Everything gets prorated out at closing. Um, I personally use a website CTOT uh, for uh, Capital Title of Texas, and I am able to uh, pull together a net sheet. So we want to go to your bank, find out exactly what your payoff amount is going to be on the property, uh, find out what it's going to take to clear that note so that way you can convey a title. Uh, make sure when you are running the numbers for your transaction that you're also factoring in uh, the time frame. So, so say if, time, if houses are moving within 30 to 60 days, you may want to calculate in maybe a 45-day time frame uh, to get that house sold. Um, so take a look at the numbers. Make sure you put in a little bit of wiggle room for, for closing costs and repairs. A lot of buyers do need closing costs or will ask for repairs. Uh, so you want to just get an idea. If it sells on the low end, this is what it'll sell for. If it sells on the high end, this is how much it'll go for. And, and of course, that'll that'll give you an idea. Of course, before you go under contract, you want to rerun these numbers to make sure that you are accurate and that you that way you know uh, that, that you're not entering into a contract that you're going to have to ultimately bring cash to close. Uh, last thing I, I want is for you to sell your house and then have to bring money to the table to just to get out of it. Um, 
So once you've done that and, and you know where, where your numbers are, you want to start preparing your home for the market. So the key thing is, is the photography is, is really important. The dollars are in the details. You want to make sure that your house is set up right for photography. Uh, so you want to take down all... All, anything that's that, that has a picture you want to take down so, so that way there's not pictures in the picture you want to depersonalize and declutter uh, take everything off the countertops make sure it's nice clean and clear that your the front of your house has a nice curb appeal that way when um, the ph photography is done that way you can get a great result out of it um, check out a website called boxbrownie.com that website is has been a very helpful resource um, if you're going to be taking your pictures yourself recommend at least sending them to box brownie that way they can edit those photos and give them a professional look whenever you post this listing um, so once you have your photography ready uh, the next step is putting your house um, putting your house out there so there's different websites you want to make sure you hit all the major websites zillow.com realtor.com um, homes.com and you should be able to create a personal profile on there if you're going to be doing a for sale by owner and uh, it's really the more places the more people that can see your house for sale um, then that's going to give it the best shot of getting sold. Of course, there's forsalebyowner.com, all these other websites that for sale by owners can be can be found. Um, so want to make sure that it's marketed. If you're filling out a profile on Zillow, make sure you add the max number of photos that you're adding in, also a video walkthrough. Those are going to help with the ranking. Uh, so ranking is, is a very important thing because that's what puts it at the top of the list. When you have a complete profile on a property uh, filled out, it's going to send it to the top of the list so you're going to get give more chances of getting an impression or an exposure on your listing. Um, so when it comes time and, and a buyer has come to you and it's time to make an agreement, uh, next thing you want to do is, is contact a title company or an escrow company that can help you facilitate the agreement. Uh, so there's plenty, there's tons of different uh, points in the agreement. You want to make sure that the buyer has earnest money securing their contract. You want to make sure the sales price is agreeable, that you've double checked to make sure that that buyer is pre-qualified or pre-approved or has a proof of funds available that way they have that way you know that you have that that buyer has the ability to close whenever it comes time to close uh, budget at least three weeks to, to five weeks uh, window for that buyer to make good on their loan um, also uh, consider that that um, if even if you're at a full sales price, but the buyer is asking for three grand in closing costs, plus say a home warranty, which is very common, uh, you want to make sure that that you recalculate out your net sheet before you sign off on that executed agreement for the sale of your house. Um, so from the contract to closing, buyer's probably going to schedule an inspection. Of course, um, you have no, um, you really don't have to. Um, do any of that for the buyer. That is the buyer's responsibility. And that, and if they are working with an agent, then it's their agent's responsibility to make sure to facilitate all that. And you want to make sure that that you have you give the buyer a chance to do their due diligence, but also, um, um, you know, chances are the buyer may ask for additional repairs while if they have an option period uh, in their agreement. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, things could change if there's an option period. Most buyers will ask for a due diligence period to make sure everything looks good uh, to, to proceed forward to closing. Um, so when you go in time to close and close on your sale you want to make sure that that everything is done through the title company you want to make sure that you schedule your appointment in advance bring your id card and you want to sit down and review the numbers and make sure they match up with the agreement and the contract um, so if you're in the san antonio market or if you're here in texas uh, would love to talk to you about your home sale uh, of course if you are a, a for sale buyer owner looking anywhere else in the United States at eXp Realty, we have a national network of real estate agents that, um, so we are one brokerage among all 50 states in the United States. So I have the ability to refer you to a top quality listing agent that can help help you if you get stuck in any part of this process and and maybe you might find that that uh, just hiring an agent or working with a realtor may be the better route to go so uh, if you're online please uh, please like this video and if you could please uh, take a look at our website ghsanantonio.com or 
follow me on Facebook, John Jacoby, uh, San Antonio's top realtor. I appreciate your time today. Hopefully that this has been a ton of value. Uh, please, um, uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions whatsoever about the sale of your home. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for tuning in. John Jacoby, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.